Hello and welcome to Library Drawing Party. Today we're going to be drawing this beautiful butterfly. To start with our butterfly, we're going to want to start with the center and work our way out. I actually started with the bottom portion of the wings on the sample drawing. So let's try that again here. So we have this interesting shape that has two half circles. So let's try drawing that first. We have a very small half circle and then a line coming down which has a red dot. And we take our black pencil and go make another half circle around the red dot. Another line and then a large half circle. It has a bit of a tip so create a little bit of a point with that. Now let's do the same thing on the other side, just in reverse. So we have just a little bit of a curve, then a line that comes down, then a red dot, then we use our black pencil and do the curly cue. Make a line. Make another half circle. So coming out of the square shape there's going to be two tan dots and then two tan dots the other way. Then we have our blue, and that goes next to the half circle. Those are going to be a little bit thinner than our tan circles, but they're also going to be a little taller, both sides. great about using the tan first is that if you decide to change it you can always just color right over it and it won't affect the drawing too much. Alright, then we have the smaller tan. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six. I also count one, two, three, four, five, six of the blues. They're going to be different thicknesses and shapes. You don't want this to be too uniform. Because you want to show the movement of the butterfly. So we have four, five, and six. All right. Now let's do the other side. So these rectangular ones, there's fewer of them so they go in between the spaces created by the blue. So one, two, three, four, five. Okay, and then we need this round dot go right here and right here and then there's a little line next to it okay we have that let's take our black and start drawing 
the lines to create the wings. So it's pretty boxy down here. This drawing is different than our other drawings because we're going straight into the color. But it makes it easier that way because you can see how far out the wings need to be rather than trying to draw the outline of the wings and then add all these details. These lines should be connected. And then this should be a half circle right here. Then you repeat this on the other side. Okay, and then if you have any white spaces left, you can go and fill those in with the colors. And to help give it some highlights, I put some extra brighter yellow towards the top. We need to give this some boxes. Okay, so we started with our bottom of our butterfly. Now we need to add the center or the body of the butterfly. This is two curved lines meeting together and then we have a series of tan dots, six dots on either side and you can also add some yellow to that and they make them pop. Then you take your black and draw circles around the dots. And then you fill in the spaces with the black. Once you did the bottom of the body, then you can add the center, which is just horizontal lines to show that it's fuzzy and then for the top portion we have a couple of dots and then we draw a circle around the first dot or oval And then another half circle around the top. And then you add the antennas, which curl at the ends. couple of lines coming out on the side of the head or the mouth. Okay, so we have our center of our body drawn and the bottom of the butterfly drawn. To do the rest of the wings, we're going to want to do the rest of the tan dots first. So we start here, and they get bigger as they go out. One, two, three, four, four five, six, 
seven, eight, nine. All right, I got my wingspan on that side. Let's draw these square shapes. Okay. Now let's color around them. So we have this curved pattern at the bottom. Instead of our squares, we're going to be doing curves, and they generally fall in between the two dots. You can even draw the curves out first and then fill them in later. Okay, and then let's put our scalloped edge on this side. Okay, once you have your scalloped edge, then let's go and draw circles around our circles. Okay, once you have your circles done, then you can go in and draw this line. No two butterflies in nature are going to look exactly the same. So it's good if your butterfly looks unique and different. Alright, once you draw your line, then we'll go in and make the squares. You can actually just draw vertical lines because we might want to add a little highlight of the yellow on top of the tan when we're finished. Okay, let's go in and add those highlights that I was talking about with our yellow. And then we need to draw a dot here and a dot here and then we use the yellow to make the edge of the wing design and then we'll draw wings Draw the inside. And I want these to be a little bit thicker, so I'm going to extend them with the tan. And draw around the circle, this circle. This is a little too extended, so I'm going to draw an edge here. And then I'm going to connect the center. So the fuzzy part, I'm going to make a line go around and connect the center of the butterfly body to the wingspan. And where we have these circles, we'll just draw some lines back up to the center. Let's really emphasize the top portion of the wing. Same thing on this side. And we'll 
to draw more yellow lines, give it some texture. And then we'll fill in the spaces with black. And make sure your strokes are going from the top to the bottom. You can put the full force in the pencil down. Okay, keep going. Let's do these smaller pieces first. This is harder to fill in. You have to be more precise. Create an outline here. Let's do the same thing on this side. Okay, then we have to fill it in. Once you have your butterfly drawn, then you can start working on the background. This butterfly, we did a little bit more of a close-up than we did in my sample, so I don't know if we're going to put the whole background, but to get this watercolor background that I did here, dampen my brush. And I'm still using the rainbow colored watercolor set. So this is a pink. So to get the pink, I'm going to take my, I'm going to take my red and a little bit of blue and mix it together until I get a shade that I'm comfortable with. And we're going to need a lot of the pink, so you're going to want to mix a lot so you have plenty to work with. Once you get a decent amount of pigment, Then you can add water to it and start creating your flowers. So this is still a little red, so I'm going to add a little more blue, mix it up a bit, add a lot of water. Because as you move it away from the pigment, then it becomes lighter and it gets that nice pink tone that we're going for. So these flowers have 
nice big petals. So we want to create curly cues that look like petals. You can use water to take away some of the color and add it elsewhere because we want to get a lot of variation in our color. Because the flowers, while they're light, they do have a lot of variation. Okay, so when we do have some space, we can do a small flower pot in the background. So to get the flower pot, I use the brown watercolor. And I just did small circle, I mean a small square shape. And I did one right next to it. You can play with this until you get the shape that you want. And then for the flower, I did a red flower. You could do pink if you want to keep it consistent with the flowers that the butterfly is sitting on. And I took green and put some green for the leaves. I also added some green to my flowers that the butterfly is sitting on. These can be in any shape. Just show some greenery. Since we have such detail with our butterfly, we don't want to have these flowers too detailed because we want, if we were looking at this through a camera, the focus would be on the butterfly and everything around it would be out of focus. So we're trying to create that here in our watercolor. If you found you put too much green, you can add some of your pink back in. If you ran out of pink, you can just mix some more. Okay, and then finally we have the bricks. So the bricks is going to be gray. Now I used some blue mixed with the black to make it gray instead of just straight black. Okay, and then once you have a color that you like, you can start adding it. You're going to want some horizontal and some vertical lines. This brick is going to be a little bit darker than my sample. If you want to lighten it up, you can add more water. You can add water to 
places you did already. And if you found one area is too light, you can just add more pigment. Now for your watercolor, you're going to want to let this dry. You can let it dry probably an hour would be good. Um, overnight is best because then it will definitely be dry. And then we can go in and add the little details with our colored pencil that I did in the sample drawing. Now that our butterfly has dried, we can add our finishing touches. So the first thing I do is take your light brown and let's give some defined edges to our flower pot. We still want the background to be pretty blurry, which is the reason why we use the watercolor so that the texture would be different from our butterfly. But we do want to give it a little bit of definition and shading. So I'm giving it a lot of shading at the bottom and then I'm giving some shadow on one side and a little bit on the other side but not as much. And I'm also creating a, a lip. So we drew our flower pots. Now let's take the green and we'll add in some curl cues for the leaves. This will just give it some extra texture. For our bricks, I'm going to draw in some lines to help create the distinctive bricks. I'm not going to draw lines everywhere, just enough to help create that sense. of vertical and horizontal lines. Once you're happy with your bricks, you can take the red or pink color and go in and add some edges to your flowers. Since the butterfly is very large, we want the petals to be large too. And this is just to help emphasize the idea of the petals. You don't want to be too detailed here either because we want the focus to stay on our butterfly. We have our nice soft edges and then I drew Some flower pistols and draw some on the other side too. And there you have it. There's our butterfly. Thank you for joining us in Library Drawing Party. We hope to see you again next week. We have Library Drawing Parties every Wednesday at 7 p.m. And keep being creative.